in this video we will see a problem i mean the last problem related to the allegations and mixture so the problem is 450 liters of a mixture of milk and water milk and water contain contain the milk and water water in the ratio in the ratio 9 to 1 okay so how much how much water should be added to get a new mixture new mixture containing containing milk and water in the ratio 3 ratio 1 okay so there are 450 liters of mixture are there so the mixture contains milk and water okay so the milk and the water ratio is milk and water ratio is 9 ratio 1 okay so the total quantity is 450 so the milk is 9 parts out of 10 parts the total parts are 9 plus 1 okay so the milk is 9 parts out of 10 so the milk ratio is 9 by 10 So forty five nine ja. So forty five nine five ja forty five. Ah uh, four here. So that is going to be four zero five liters. So that means four zero five liters of milk. Four zero five liters of milk. And the remaining one is forty five. That is forty five liters of water is there. Okay. So out of 450 liters, a mixture of milk and water contains the milk in the ratio 9 ratio 1. So that means 405 liters of milk is there, and 45 liters of water is there. So how much water should be added to get a new mixture containing the milk and water in the ratio 3 ratio 1? 3 ratio 1. So that means so we have to add the water. Okay, we have to. Add the water in such a way that so the water and the milk ratio should be become. I mean the milk and water ratio should be become three ratio one. Okay, so that is going to be three ratio one. So that means actually we are going to be keep the milk as the constant. So that means three parts is going to be four zero one, and one part we have to. Okay, so why? Because because we are in how much water should be added. So we are only adding the water. So that means we are keeping the milk is constant. So the milk is four zero five liter. So we are keeping four zero five as it is. So that means so the resultant ratio should be three ratio one. Okay, so this is the milk and this is the water. So we are keeping what. Milk constant, so that means that this is going to be three parts. Okay, this is going to be three parts out of four parts. Three plus one, four parts. So this is going to be three parts of the resultant. So this is going to be three parts. We have to find the one part. So to find the one part, we divide this four zero five by three to get the one part because four zero five is equal to three parts. So to get the one part, we divide this one by three. So that is going to be. Uh, Three one ja three 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 ja and three five ja. So that is going to be one thirty five liters of water. So one thirty five liters of water. So is should be there so that the milk and uh, water ratio should be three ratio one. So then the milk and water ratio will become three ratio one. So that means initially the milk is four zero five liter and finally the milk is four zero five liter. But actually, the water is raised from 45 to 135. So that means the difference is how much? The difference is 90 liters. The difference is 90 liters of water. So that means how much water should be added to get a new mixture containing milk and water in a three ratio? One is that is 
90 liters of water should be added to the mixture so that the milk and water ratio will become 3 ratio to the 1 ok so 90 liters of water should be added to the mixture so I hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel